everybody, Sonic Blue here for Blues Previews. And today we're previewing a game that will be released in two days from now. The point of doing this review, or preview I should say, uh, this game will be available on, the, on February 28th. And uh, here we are on the 26th. We're about ready to give you a sneak peek on the new game from Fire Vector called Dragons Never Cry. I saw this game as very attractive looking from the screenshots and thumbnails, and I thought I'd give it a try. So the nice people over at Fire Vector had sent me over a copy, an adva advanced copy of the game, to preview on my channel. So here it is, Dragons Never Cry, available on the Steam, uh, Steam community in two days from now. As you can see from the graphics, that cute little dragon here, and cute little panda floating in the air there. Dragons, of course, what would dragons be without the ability to breathe fire? Now you control your uh, dragon, You're, you play this character here, and you control the dragon by using the WASD keys. And you can also uh, use your mouse to burn things, like enemies, like logs. So let's get into this. This is Dragons Never Cry. As you can see I already started playing it, but I'll play it back from the beginning. And this is... Basically what this is, is a treasure hunting and zombie rabbit fighting type of game. It's very relaxing given the, um... Yeah, just shoot things. Yeah, I know. I mean, the ability to shoot. It's very relaxing given the, um, the fact that the music is very soothing, the graphics are smooth, the gameplay is not too heavy. And as you can see, the dragon is capable of long range and close combat. So if you see a zombie rabbit up close against you, you'll go into close range combat, but you'll also have the fire power of spitting fire at your enemies when they're further away. Also, oh, okay, now I have full access to my mouse. Before I didn't. I don't know what happened this time, but anyway, your objective is to fight as many zombie rabbits as possible and going across the land finding as many treasures in the ways of gold coins as you possibly can. Now there's a counter up in the upper right hand side of the screen there and what that does is it keeps track of all the treasure you find and you try to find as much as you possibly can. Oh, I found a magic lamp. I haven't found that before. Another coin there. If that's anything. No? No, just a rock. Okay. So the gameplay is very simple. It's easy to jump into. It's easy to start uh, start playing and you know picking this up from scratch. It's nothing too complicated. And plus you're a cute little dragon. What's not to love about that? What is not to love about that? Now, you are timed in all the levels. You try to find the treasure as quickly as possible. And uh, if you try to find, if you can find all the coins before you reach the end of the level, you get a higher bonus. The control, albeit, is, uh, is sometimes you'll get stuck around certain objects like trees and rocks and twigs and things. But once you get used to the controls, it's really that, it's really pretty simple. It's nothing too complicated. So it's basically a very relaxing game that you can just kind of soak your feet into. It's very relaxing, very soothing. The music is wonderful. <coughs> You have the option of turning up the music uh, as loud as you want or as quiet as you want. The sound effects also have a volume control. Ooh. Also keep your eye on your life supply. Took a few hits back there that I didn't plan on taking because I thought I killed it, but I didn't. <laughs> But just keep a looking around for coins. And watch out for them zombie bunnies. Okay, that's the end of the level right there, but I'm not 
quite ready to go through it yet. Not until I've looked around for all the treasure I could possibly find. Because I want to see what happens when you get all the coins, but... Like I said before, these, these levels are timed. And it's not like you get lost easily, because it seems like there's a pretty obvious path of which to take to get from one point to the other. Now that could change in the later levels. I have not yet experienced the later levels, just the first three. I wanted to make sure I got a gist of the game and the feel for it before I started previewing it. The game will be available in two days on the Steam community, so if this game interests you and if this game is kind of what you're looking for in the ways of a good gameplay, you can check it out on the Steam community. Folks over at Fire Vector would love you for it. And I must say, this is a very cute game, albeit it does contain zombies, and there are nothing about zombies that are cute. But if you put that body of a zombie into a bunny, you have made zombies cute. Everything about this game has a very nice, subtle appeal to it, where it's so relaxing and soothing that if you've had a really rough day, you just pop this game in and just let your problems just kind of fly away in the breeze. And there's a nice gentle breeze flowing through. You can tell by the waving grass and the flowers. There is a lot of good detail in, in the graphics of this game. Now, I'm not finding any other treasures around here, so maybe, I don't, I don't know, maybe I've got them all. I don't know. I'll go ahead and end the level here. So you just walk up to that uh, vortex-like thing. And as you see, I've only gotten 178 gold out of 210. My time was 500, or 5 minutes 28 seconds, and this is my uh, one attempt. Let's go to level 2. Maybe better our score than last time. Gotta watch out, these zombies will come out of the ground now. Like, some of them will come up right, from under, right, right in front of you. So you really gotta keep your, your eyes open for them. grab any and all coins that you come across because they will be indeed quite handy in dealing out your bonus. I still haven't figured out the full purpose of the panda companion. All I know is that he flies around and helps you uh, with some uh, courses, like some of the obstacles and such, like that bridge. It tells you, you can go through the hollow log. Oh, I found a secret. Not much of a secret, but I found one. Oh, there's my item. So I found a magic lamp in the previous level, a ring in this level. And basically, you're just a typical treasure-loving dragon, going around looking for treasure and fighting off zombies. Which is an activity that all dragons should get into. You never know, you might need a dragon companion with you when the next zombie apocalypse hits. And when it happens, where are you going to be without your dragon? I love how when you like breathe a fire, like, let's let's breathe it over that tree, and and the flame stays there and it slowly fades. I love that effect. I love that effect of how the fire, of the, how the flame kind of just lingers there for a bit. Okay, so through the bridge we go, destroying the bunnies, grabbing the gold coins. And you can't go through the trees, you have to go around them. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Is you cannot go through trees and obstacles. Yeah, okay, here's where the restriction of the mouse is. I can't really fully move my mouse down. But I can move it out that way, up that way, and that way. But down, that's as far down as it goes. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but I'm sure any bugs that develop during the uh, beta test of the, of the game will be fixed by the time the game is released. Other than that, I have not found one single problem with anything else. Okay, I can't blast that away, but I can blast you away. 
get some coins before I go over there. There are coins to be gotten. Oh, hello, zombie. I didn't even know. I thought you were that panda. I was. I didn't even notice. Okay, come on. Don't kill me. Okay, so grab with F and move that log out of the way. There we go. Very easy grab. Get some long range going. Okay, blast this out of the way. Pick up some gold coins. Pick up these gold coins. And that one there. You really have to keep your eyes peeled for those gold coins if you want to catch as big a bonus as possible. There's another one we missed. There's two of them we missed. There's two of them. Set a little fire there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. It was just for the fun of it. Now, it seems that uh, you can light as many fires as you want to, and it doesn't seem to, like, there doesn't seem to be any uh, limited supply, so I'm pretty sure you have unlimited fire. Okay, you just, I could just push that rock out of the way, or you could use F. Okay, kill all zombies! Go back to eating carrots, not brains. Okay, there's a little knoll or this little cut, um, this little corner of the woods here where I can get some more coins. More coins, always a good thing. Fill my pockets with treasure. Do dragons even have pockets? Well, this one's carrying a backpack, so that's probably where he's keeping all the treasure. You gotta keep it somewhere while you're on the prowl. No, you do not invade sunflowers. That is, that is very bad, bad zombie. Zombies are not supposed to be invading sunflowers. Alright, let's check around here to see if I missed any gold coins. It doesn't appear to be, it's just a nice broad path. Are there any coins back here? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Panda. Oh, another treasure. More secrets. More treasures. That's what this dragon likes. Secrets, treasures. It's all good. So now I found the lamp and the ring in this level, and who knows, maybe I might find the chalice too. There's supposedly a chalice in this level as well, so I'm going to find it. And while my mind is on it, I would like to send a humongous, humongous thank you so very much to Alex for sending me this game and giving me a chance to, an opportunity to re preview it. And I wanted to show it to all of my followers on the YouTube channel about this. Oh, I'm not ready for you yet. I'm not ready for you yet. I'm still got... No, I don't want to go inside yet. Okay, so I guess if you get close enough to it... It counts as you finishing the level. But, anyway, what was my score like then? Okay, three out of five stars. Three out of five stars. I can live with that. I'll show you this one more level. And uh, we'll see if uh, anything more challenging or something different comes our way. In the ways of any gameplay, enemies, treasures... Open space for a change. Looks like you find lots of treasure here. I'm already finding some coinage. Coins is always good. Give me all their treasure. All your treasure belongeth to this dragon. little shards of crystals. I wonder if you can take those. Should be able to. You're a dragon. Oh, hello, zombie bunny. Yeah, it's not too difficult to defeat the zombie bunnies. Okay, those are metal stakes. Okay, that makes sense. Those are metal stakes that block your path. Maybe I'm not ready to go through it yet. 
because there's still more treasure to be gotten. There's a ring. Ray, I found the ring. So I guess every level has the same types of hidden treasures. In the first level, I just I only found the... I think I've only found just the... Um, okay, there's no jump button, I don't think, is there? Did I burn through that? No, it's metal. Okay, so... Now that I'm here, where do I go from here? Oh, I can't climb that. Can't jump. They haven't really given you a command to jump over anything. Usually if you can pull something with... Oh, F, turn. There you go. There we go. Use the F key. That'll get you through. It seems that everywhere you go, if there's something in your way that you have to use a keystroke to get through it, it'll usually remind you what that is, so you don't have to memorize buttons. Which is good for me, because I I, I could never play games like Mortal Kombat, because I can never remember the codes. I'm just saying that as an example, though, but... Let's move this rock backwards. Get the coin... More lovely sunflowers and a dying tree. Okay, well, let's grab this then. If I could just move it out of the way a bit. Get the gold coins from behind this area here. I think we're doing pretty well so far. Have we found any secrets yet? Oh, hello. A zombie bunny totem place. Burn them? Or do I leave them in peace? Oh, no, I can still kill them. They just won't put up a fight. Oh, and I took down their totem pole. How evil am I now? Man, I'm an evil dragon. I just took down their, their only source of sanctuary. Oh, there's a chalice. Yay. Now all i got to find is that magic lamp. Oh, there's a monster. Is that a boss? Okay, why doesn't my mouse want to work properly now that there's a big boss over there and I can't get it to... Okay, if I can get you to, like... Oh, no! It beat me. I, to... I was trying to circle around him so I can use my mouse to get at him from a distance. Oh, look at that! And you can also you can also indicate how many hit points he's got from the life meter. So I can just stand over here and wail on him, and he ain't gonna come after me at all. zombie friend after me, weren't ya? He's almost done. He's almost done. He's almost defeated. Yeah. Okay, now give me something. Nope, he just disappears back into the earth where he was spawned. That's it. You just get the glory of fighting him. Nothing too special. Okay, I don't see anything else. No secrets over here. Maybe there's a secret around this way. So I really didn't get a chance to fully explore this area because that boss kind of showed up and I got a little too overexcited. Oh, that's a dead tree. Okay, I can't do anything about that. back over to the sanctuary place where I destroyed their place of prayer. I feel like such an evil dragon for doing that, but they're zombies. They have no feelings. Alright, well I guess it's across the bridge now. Pick up some more treasure. Kill off some more zombies. Yeah, the 
Now, one thing I find difficult to maneuver is sometimes the mouse doesn't go all the way to where you need it to go. You don't, like, have full range of the mouse. So, like, in some angles it's restricted. So that doesn't really make much sense to me. I, I'm thinking that could be a bug. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's meant to be that way, but... Like I said, any bugs that uh, develop in the early stage of the game will be should be fixed in time for the game's release. And this is why beta testing is a good thing. Okay, there's the portal that takes me out of this level. But I really don't want to go back because I have not yet found the magic lamp. I found all the other treasures. Except for that magic lamp. I'm sure, though, through more use of this game, and maybe even doing a Let's Play on it after it's released, I'm sure that I could do a Let's Play on it, and it'll be part of the Let's Play series. But for now, I'm just here to preview the game, give you my thoughts on it, and to let you know whether or not it's going to seem to be a good investment. And just for the right demographic of who this demographic is meant for. Which is a good purpose of having in your reviews. You know, you definitely want to address the demographic that is, the game is meant for. And lo and behold! Oh god, no, no, not you again. The boss, but I also found Magic Lamp. Beat up on your zombie friend. Leave me out of it, though. No, no, not to ward him. Ow. My mouse wasn't so restricted. Oh, last attempt. This is the last time, folks. Well, I still got my treasure. I can still book it to that uh, portal. I can book it to the portal and leave that big boss behind. Because now I got what I came for. Let's go ahead and end the level here. 254 of 282, not bad. Took me 8 minutes and 28 seconds to get through it and 3 attempts. What is my score on that, anyway? I only got 2 stars for that. Dragons never cry. Once again, I'd like to thank Alex at Fire Vector for sending over this game to me and having given me a chance to review it, or preview it in this case, and uh, to let everybody know just what kind of a game it is. And now, let's do a decent review of the game, or a preview of the game, I should say. Well, first of all, the control, although the mouse part is a bit restricted at times, it's very easy to maneuver. You got your keys to move the dragon in any direction you need to go. You got full 360 degree support. You have a, uh, another key to <clears throat> um, lift and move things out of the way. It's not too challenging on that behalf. It's very soothing gameplay. It doesn't really give you a, that same feel that you get when you play a very high adrenaline driven game. This is meant for people who need a relaxation, a chance to relax, kick back, and just unwind. If you've had a bad day at work, or if you've had a bad day at school, or a bad day in general, this is a good game to unwind to. It's not too high pack, you know, it's not too action packed, it's not too high driven. It's soothing, the music is wonderful, it's a beautiful breath of fresh air. And you play a dragon! Who? I mean, what's not to love about that? So, I'm gonna have to give this game... a 3.5 out of 5 stars, mainly because it doesn't cater to every single demographic. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who really go for the fighting games and the war games and the gut-driven, gut-wrenching machine guns and weapons flying everywhere. And if you're into those types of games, this game will not be for you. However, if you suffer from stress, if you have a lot of bad days, 
if you want to, if you if you're sick and you don't feel like moving around too much and you want to just enjoy life for once, you want to unwind to something. This is the game to unwind to, and it's very therapeutic. It's very relaxing. The music will soothe you. The gameplay is soothing. The graphics are soothing. And the whole concept is very easy to figure out. It's very easy to jump into. Three and a half stars mainly because also the mouse is very sticky in some places. Like, you don't have full range of your mouse. I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's intended to be that way, but it would be nice to have more consistent mouse movements uh, for your cursor. So that might be something to look into if that's not what you intended. But if it is intended, I've discovered that it just makes it that more challenging. And it certainly does, especially if you're pushed into a corner and your mouse don't go that far and you have to rely on hand-to-hand -hand combat. But all in all, once they fix that problem, I'll bump that score up to a 4 out of 5. I like this game a lot. It's very fun. And it's, it's something that's enjoyable. It's easy to get into. It's easy to get out of. So it's not addicting. But it's, at the same time, it's, you know, it's something that you can enjoy. Something that you won't be yelling at the screen every five minutes. And that is Dragons Never Cry. So hopefully you've enjoyed this game preview, and if this game appeals to you, and I hope it does, then check it out on the Steam community in two days. I'm Sonic Blue. Thanks for joining us for Blue's Previews. Stay tuned next time, and I'll be showing you the next game on the, re on the preview slash review list. And always remember, keep mashing those buttons. Eventually, you might get somewhere.